Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Mandal Flaming model. This model describes working of economy which is open to international trade. This model describes working of economy which is open to international trade and also describes effect of monetary and fiscal policies on a growth of economy. And we will study this model by two ways. First is under fixed exchange rate system. Second is a floating or we can say the flexible exchange rate system. Under fixed exchange rate system, we will see effect of both policies, monetary policy as well as a fiscal policy. Same way under floating or we can say the flexible exchange rate system, we will see effect of both policies, monetary policy as well as fiscal policy. First of all, we will see effect of monetary policy when our exchange rate is fixed and here we assume perfect capital mobility. Perfect capital mobility means free movement of capital from one country to other country and fixed exchange rate is decided by central bank or government. Fixed exchange rate is decided by central bank or government means here exchange rate is not decided by market forces. It is decided by central bank or government. Now with the help of this diagram, we will see effect of monetary policy when our exchange rate is fixed. In this diagram on x axis, we have income or output and y axis, we have interest rate. This horizontal BP line represent our balance of payment. As we know, balance of payment shows the transaction of our export and import. This is our IS curve. Here I represent investment and S represent saving. And IS curve shows equilibrium in goods market. And this is our LM curve. Here L represent liquidity or we can say that L represent money demand. And M represent money supply. And LM curve shows equilibrium in money market. Initially our interest rate is OR and income is OY and our equilibrium point is E. So here we will see effect of monetary policy. Under monetary policy, central bank increase money supply. As central bank will increase money supply, our LM curve will shift from LM to LM1. As central bank increase money supply, our LM curve will shift from LM to LM1. And our new equilibrium point is E1. At this equilibrium point, you can see our interest rate fall from OR to OR1. Our new interest rate is OR1. Because now our interest rate has fallen, that's why domestic investor will not invest in our country. They will invest in foreign. As domestic investor will invest in foreign, that means our money is going out. As a result, our balance of payment will become deficit. As we know, deficit balance of payment means when money is going out from nation is more than money coming in nation. When balance of payment become deficit, it will reduce our uh, value of currency. Means because of deficit balance of payment, our currency value will fall. Because we are working under fixed exchange rate system, that's why central bank will try to maintain a fixed exchange rate system or we can say that central bank will try to protect our currency. That's why in order to protect our currency value, central bank will reduce money supply. As central bank will reduce money supply, our LM curve will again shift from LM1 to LM1. And we will come back to our original equilibrium point E. So we can say that our monetary policy is very ineffective. कोई फायदा ही नहीं हुआ हम घूम फिर कर वही अपने पुराने वाले इक्विलिब्रियम पर आ गए सो वी कैन से अंडर फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम अवर मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इज नॉट इफेक्टिव नाउ वी विल सी इफेक्ट ऑफ फिजिकल पॉलिसी अंडर फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम Everything is same. Here we also assume perfect capital mobility. Diagram also same. This is IS curve. This is LM curve. This is balance of payment line. E is our initial equilibrium point. Because now we are talking about fiscal policy. As we know, under fiscal policy, government increase expenditure. As government increase expenditure, that means our investment, saving, consumption will influence goods market, equilibrium will influence. As a result, our IS curve will shift from IS to IS1. 
even is our new equilibrium point at this equilibrium point our interest rate will increase from or to or1 now interest rate has become higher at high interest rate foreigner will invest in our country if foreigners are investing our in our country that means more money is coming in our country as a result our balance of payment will become in surplus as you know surplus balance of payment means when money coming in your country is more than money going out from your country and surplus balance of payment can increase our value of currency but we are working under fixed exchange rate system we can't let to market forces to increase our currency value that's why in order to maintain fixed exchange rate system central bank will expand money supply as central bank will expand money supply our lm curve shift from lm to lm1 and our new equilibrium point is e2 so our new equilibrium point is e2 now in order to see the effect of fiscal policy we will do comparison between our initial equilibrium point e and new equilibrium point e2 you can see new equilibrium point e2 is much better than this e point at this e point our national income is o y but at this e2 point our national income is o y2 means our national income is more at this e2 point as compared to this e point so we can say that our fiscal policy is very effective hamari fiscal policy hit ho gayi under fixed exchange rate system it is very effective now we will see effect of monetary policy under flexible exchange rate system and under flexible exchange rate system central bank or government will not interfere because interest rate is decided by market forces or we can say under flexible exchange rate system central bank or government will not interfere because interest rate is decided by currency demand or currency supply everything is same here we also assume perfect capital mobility this is our is curve this is our lm curve this is our balance of payment line so we here we are talking about monetary policy and under monetary policy uh, central bank will increase money supply as central bank will increase money supply lm curve will shift from lm to lm1 and our new equilibrium point is e1 at this equilibrium point our interest rate will fall from or to or1 as our interest rate fall domestic supplier will invest in foreign as they invest in foreign that means our money is going out if more and more money is going out that means our balance of payment will become deficit and deficit balance of payment can fall our currency value now we are working under flexible exchange rate system that's why central bank or government will not interfere to maintain fixed exchange rate system so we will let market forces to reduce our uh, value of currency as value of currency will fall uh, our product will become inexpensive for others because now our currency value has fall that's why our product become inexpensive for others if our product become inexpensive that means our export will increase on the other hand because of falling our currency value uh, uh, others country product will become expensive for us as a result our import will fall you can see if our export are continuous increasing that means more money is coming in our country more and more money is coming in our country that is good for growth of our company our investment saving consumption everything is increasing that means it influence goods market equilibrium as a result our is curve will shift from is to is 1 and our new equilibrium point is e2 if we compare this new equilibrium point e2 this original equilibrium point you can see this e2 point is much more better than this e point here you can see our national income is more at this e point our national income is o y but at this e2 point our national income is o y2 our national income is more at this e2 point as compared to this e point so we can say that under flexible exchange rate system our monetary policy is very effective means under flexible exchange rate system our monetary policy hit ho gayi now we will see effect of fiscal policy under flexible exchange rate system everything is same diagram also same e is our original equilibrium point because we are talking about fiscal policy that means government will increase their spending as government will increase their spending our is curve will shift from is to is 1 and our new equilibrium point is e1 at this equilibrium point our interest rate will increase from or to or1 
एट हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉरनर विल इन्वेस्ट इन अवर कंट्री इफ मोर एंड मोर फॉरनर्स आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन अवर कंट्री दैट मीन्स मोर एंड मोर मनी इज कमिंग इन अवर कंट्री दैट्स वाई और बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट विल बी कम इन सरप्लस एंड सरप्लस बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट विल इंक्रीज अवर करेंसी वैल्यू बिकॉज नाउ वी आर वर्किंग अंडर फ्लेक्सीबल एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम दैट्स वाई सेंट्रल बैंक और गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट इंटरफेयर टू मेनटेन फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम वी लेट मार्केट फोर्सेज टू इंक्रीज अवर करेंसी वैल्यू वैन करेंसी वैल्यू विल इंक्रीज और एक्सपोर्ट विल बिकम एक्सपेंसिव बट इम्पोर्ट विल बिकम इन एक्सपेंसिव इफ इम्पोर्ट आर इन एक्सपेंसिव दैट मीन्स वी आर कंटिन्यूज इंक्रीजिंग अवर इम्पोर्ट इफ वी आर इंक्रीजिंग मोर एंड मोर इम्पोर्ट दैट मीन्स अवर मनी इज गोइंग इन अदर कंट्रीज इफ अवर मनी इज गोइंग इन अदर कंट्रीज दैट मीन्स अवर डू इन अवर डोमेस्टिक कंट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट सेविंग कंजम्पन एवरीथिंग इज इफेक्टिंग एज अ रिजल्ट अवर आई एस कर विल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम आई एस वन टू आई एस एंड वी विल कम बैक टू अवर ओरिजिनल इक्वली बिन पॉइंट एट ई सो हेयर यू सी वी कम बैक टू अवर ओरिजिनल पोजिशन तो कोई फायदा नहीं हुआ घूम फिर कर वहीं पर आ गया तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि अंडर फ्लेक्सीबल एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम हमारी जो फिजिकल पॉलिसी है वो इफेक्टिव नहीं है so this is all about monday planning model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care